guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new to my channel please do not forget to subscribe and do not forget to share this video with your friends and your families and your loved ones <laughs> so guys welcome back anyway and how have you guys been because i have been good and i've been great <laughs> so um this this video it's going to be uh, me answering someone's question from my previous video, which is what I eat in a day to gain weight. So Sam Julius asked me, how do I gain, how do I gain weight and still maintain a flatter um, stomach or tummy? <laughs> Guys, that is a bit tricky. <laughs> That is a bit tricky, but I'm gonna be sharing some tricks and tips at which I at which that speech I use. Sorry, sorry. That I use to gain weight and you know, still try to maintain a uh, flatter tummy. Um, basically, so people gain weight at different part of their bodies, which is true. We all have that part of our body whereby when we are gaining weight, we tend to gain more. Um, it can be your face. It can be your boobs, it can be your arms, it can be your bumps, or it can be on your uh, stomach or your tummy. So, personally, when I'm gaining, I gain more at my tummy area. I gain more at that place. So, that is why most, when I'm gaining, I try as much as possible to, to maintain that flatter tummy. That is, no? With it. So, these are the things I do, actually, to, you know, to, to um, maintain it. First thing is skipping on late night food. This part is very tricky because if you're trying to gain weight, eating at night is very, very nice, but you know, everything has their pro and cons too. So I think if you're trying to gain weight, make sure you don't eat from anything from past nine. You stay away from, make sure everything you want to eat, make sure you've eaten everything before 9 p.m. Before 9 p.m., make sure you've eaten everything and all you want to eat because late night food too can cause to you know gaining weight at that part of that area. You don't want to gain weight, it's like you don't want it to gain weight at all. You don't want to gain weight at that part of your body. Like late night food will just you know help you out with it. It's probably to you just like gaining weight, see yourself gaining weight at that part, and you don't want to gain weight there, but you just see yourself gaining weight there. So, I'll advise you to stay away from late night food. Do not eat at night, guys. And even if you want to eat something, just stick to fruit. Stick to fruit. Don't eat anything heavy. Don't eat swallow. Don't eat rice. Don't eat beans. Don't No, no stay away from those things. Just go for fruit. You can go for banana. Go for peach. Go for grape. You know, things like that. But do not eat heavy food at night because it will make you bloated and then fat and then you just start seeing yourself getting fat at that part no it just growing big and big and big big like this i thought it would be very very big so i would advise you to stay away from late night food and something else is um try to get yourself a waist trainer well waist trainer works for some people it might not work for you why some it work but generally speaking waist trainer works and it works well so you get to save a waist trainer and you wear that waist trainer at night maybe when you're about to sleep but i won't really recommend you to wear it at night when you're about to sleep because that is very dangerous what if you stop breathing at night i sleep so i would advise you so when you wake up in the morning and you've you are done with your breakfast and you feel like your food has digested to some extent. Then you put on your waist trainer. You can wear this waist trainer for like 8 hours, 10 hours, depending on how many hours you want to wear this trainer. It's up to you. You can wear it as long as you want. But if you want to be incorporating it, if you are doing exercise, if you, are, if you go to the gym or you do home exercise, you can wear this thing and then know do your training and your exercise and everything and all you want to do and then you can you know remove it after everything but if you're not doing exercise you're not into exercise you just want but you just want to eat and still be still have flat at me like me 
then I will advise you guys to like wear the waist trainer as long as you can. Make sure you wear the waist trainer. Wear it even if you're going out to your friend's place, you're wearing a waist trainer. Even if you're at home, just relaxing and watching your movies. You, but you still wear your waist trainer. That will surely help you. It will help you lose like that fat down there. And on another part is another advice I will give you guys is um taking green tea have to um, take green tea but don't take it too much because green tea can actually mess up your your whole system when you take it too much it will mess you up you just start losing weight and you don't know why you're losing weight I, there, was, there was a period of time where i was trying to gain weight and i was taking green tea i, I was not gaining and i was like ah, but i'm i'm trying to I never knew it was the green tea that I was taking that was, you know, not making me gain the weight I wanted to gain. So green tea can help you lose that weight that you want to lose at that part of your body. But you have to have a specific time and days whereby you take it. You don't have to take it every day. If you're taking a green tea, make sure you put a slice of lemon in and then a drop of honey. And then you take it at night when you are about to sleep. Make sure that's the last thing you take. That is the last thing you take. You take it and then you go to bed. And the way you wake up in the morning, you just drink water so that the water will help flush the green tea out of your system. By that time, the green tea would have done its work. When you wake up in the morning, it would have done its work, its work, and then you feel a lot better. So, a lot better. So, you don't have to feel bloated when you wake up the next morning. That is it. That is the other thing I do to like maintain that flat tone but guys i would like to i don't have it right now like my tummy is not all the way flat but it's getting there it's getting there i remember when i gained initially when i gained that way i gained massive i gained massive weight my tummy was so big it was so fucking big it was very 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 big very very big and i would advise you to um i don't know if you guys know this waist bead or you wear like traditionally we do we do wear it in my country or my state from my country nigeria where i'm from we wear waist beads so if you are if you can put on a waist bead then put it on the waist bead will help you um you'll be able to like manage your weight loss at that part like your your stomach you will know how much you are gaining how much you're losing you'll be able to monitor it you know when you are eating too much like when the this thing is getting tighter you know that oh no i'm not actually losing i'm actually gaining more stomach fat and which is very bad so you will know that okay i need to start doing something about it and i'm putting on my waist bit i wish i can show you guys but i can't sorry but i'm putting on my waist bit so you can try to put on a waist bead you can make it yourself if you can, because i don't think you can find a uh, waist bead here in cyprus but you can buy the beads and then make the beads yourself so you can put on your waist bead it will help you when you are gaining too much you know you're gaining like that part of your stomach is getting too big like your tummy is getting too big no 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 i need to reduce it so you know what when to work on yourself so i advise you to buy a waist bead so that will help you and um you have to drink a lot like i said once you wake up in the morning make sure you drink a lot a lot of water drink a lot of water to help you maintain that flat that told me because once you drink water you go to the restroom and then you use the restroom and then to flush out all those things from your tummy first thing in the morning once you wake up and you've not eaten make sure you drink water at least two glasses of water it will help it will help clean your, your system it's like um this thing too detoxing like you're trying to detoxify yourself but this one is like cleansing your, your system from all these things you've eaten last night with the head of the green tea you took previous nights you know before going to bed and then the next thing i would advise you the other thing i would advise you to do is try as much as possible not to eat too much don't overfeed yourself don't because overfeeding is very very bad it will your food will not digest well and then it will cause you to be bloated you will be bloated so don't eat more than you can eat at like at that point in time don't try to overfeed yourself if you know you cannot finish it the, finish the food stay away from it i'll keep it or eat it later so that's just it that's all i know that that is all i do 
and it has worked very well for me and has helped me this my weight loss. <laughs> That's a weight loss. No, I'm not trying to lose weight. Weight gain, gaining in the right part of my body, but still maintaining that flat tummy, you know, still maintaining that right proportion of stomach that will go uh, that goes with my body and all so make sure you you know you eat you do all those things if you truly and really want to please you know the, maintain that body with a flatter stomach and try as much as possible to register for gym if you cannot register for gym then you should try as much as possible to do this at home we have this there are so many videos on youtube whereby you can watch home you know uh, exercises from YouTube and then do it at home. If you cannot afford to buy waist trainer, then I would advise you to do the um, just watch the exercise videos from YouTube and then just go along with what they are doing and to help you in losing those unnecessary weight you're gaining in that area of your body. So, thank you very much. If you can't exercise too, if you know you can, no, I think exercising is very essential. It's very, very essential. If you're trying to lose weight at that part of your body, it's very essential. Mind you, when you're doing exercise, you tend to lose other parts of your body. There's no way you will not shed weight in other parts of your body. You are, you shed definitely. There's no way you want to go about it. You will shed weight. Like, you have to shed at all other parts of your body so but then again as long as you are putting on waist trainer while doing this training like that specific part of your body will shed more than every other part of your body so that is it so um i hope you enjoyed this video guys and i hope i'll be seeing you guys soon in my next video if you have a question for me don't forget to you know leave it in the comment section or you have something you want me to talk about and about this my weight gain journey that i've been on for the past one year just let me know and see you guys in my next videos until then have a very good and a blessed day bye guys